Hello darlings and welcome back here to my channel and I'm very excited because today I will be showing you a completely new brand that I have been stocking for quite some time and I have been very interested in one specific item so today's haul is going to be because of Alice or shortened I think it's called Boa so I think it's a UK company and there was one item that kept showing up on my Instagram suggested page and I have been thoroughly in love with it and now that it has been discounted so I decided to go ahead and order it and see what the fuss is all about is it worth it is it how is the fit material I am liking so far what I'm seeing let's continue and that's the item that I have ordered I'm gonna show you here the pictures they have been popping all over my Instagram and I was obsessed with it because it gives me a 90s style businesswoman and I just fell in love with it the full price of it is 175 pounds however at the moment this color is 105 and the black version I think is 122 pounds so if you were interested in them now is the time to shop basically first impression i would say is color wise it's beautiful the actual fit it looks gorgeous as well the only thing that i would say are on the negative is that the material is easily creased you can see it from over here around the sleeve around here as well and the other thing which is bothering me a little bit is that there's a slight pull over here on the collar and I immediately saw... is that a pull as well? Okay, that's fluff. So it's only the pull on over here. I think I can fix it, but it's not something that I would like to see when I order something. Nonetheless, let's give it a try and see how it looks. So this coat is double-breasted. It does have a button here on the inside. And then you have a hidden button over here too. And that's darlings how the coat looks. I am actually in love with it. I really like the style. I really like the fit as well. The length of the sleeves as well. It's very, very nice. I don't like it when it's too short. However, if you do have something longer underneath, it's gonna go beyond the sleeve and it's gonna poke out a little, just a tiny bit, just enough for it to be a little bit more stylish. Second thoughts are that it's exactly what I was expecting. I'm loving the actual fit that the button is a little bit hidden away. However, to actually a button up the hidden button, it's a little bit of a tricky twist. You have to play around with it a little bit more or get used to it, I guess. But I do love the idea that it's hidden and you cannot see it at all. That's the whole design of the coat. That's the part that I fell in love with basically. I have combined it with my turtleneck from Karen Milan because you have an open neckline and you either have to put a big scarf whenever the weather outside is minus degrees or you have to go with a turtleneck. My choice is always a good turtleneck, maybe even a scarf on top as well. And I have also combined it with my Radley bag, which is something a little bit more structured and I feel like it's adding on to the whole sophisticated, glamorous look of the coat. The color is also amazing because it's very subtle, it's not something too obvious and I feel like it's going to blend in with whatever else you wear, especially when you're wearing more neutral tones, if you go with white, black, beiges and pinks like I do, then this color is going to be perfect because I feel like it doesn't have too much beige in it, it doesn't have too much pink, it's more of a grayish beige which complements each and every color from the neutral palette. So I would say it's more of a stone color, which I adore. And I like to add a little bit of color always. So that's why the pink Radley bag, I don't know. I just feel like it adds up to the whole outfit and I'm quite loving it. So let's talk design. I already mentioned the hidden away button. There's another one over here as well, just so it can keep the structure of the coat. The coat does have an exaggerated color, which is very beautiful. I like the detailing of it. You have a small collar around the neckline and then it goes with a bigger exaggerated one. It goes with the curves and it just adds up to the whole style and design of the coat. The other thing that I didn't know it had is its shoulder pads and I am currently in love with shoulder pads because they just give you a little bit more structure and it defines your shoulders as well and it just gives you a complete different shape and I feel like that's something 
more on the fancy side so it's again something casual slash fancy combined into this coat which I am loving so much. Size wise I did get a size small which now I am happy that I did because I feel like if I had gone for extra small which was the original size that I was going for it would have been a little bit too tight. There is space under the arms so I think it still would have been fine However, with this I definitely feel more comfortable and I do like layering up especially during winter and autumn. So this would be perfect for me because it, I wear at least two or three layers when I'm outside because I am always freezing. So I like the opportunity to have chunkier knits underneath as well and still feel stylish. And with this coat it's gonna give me exactly that. The sleeves are also not tight fitted which is something else that I am very very happy about because I hate when the coats are so tight around the arms you cannot put any layers on and it restricts your movement quite a lot so this is nice and free. It is 100% polyester so I feel like with the right layers underneath you're still going to feel nice and cozy and you know that I prefer usually some natural materials like wool uh, because they just keep you so so toasty and I have gone in minus degrees with a 100% wool coat and then you just don't feel a thing with one layer like this underneath. You're perfectly fine. However, I think I can make this one work as well. You have pockets as always and now let's see it in full length. And that is it in full length, darlings. I'm actually very, very happy with it because I don't have anything with such length. I would say it's definitely on the longer side. I am usually 160 centimeters or five foot three. So I am pretty short. However, I feel like I don't have anything with this length. It basically reaches my ankles. And if you wear heels, I feel like it will look even, even better. So I am very happy with this, it feels very very stylish and it's definitely nothing like the coats that I already have in my wardrobe so it's definitely something different. I am loving everything about it. The only thing that I'm really disappointed about is the piece, oh, it's, on, it's even on the front bit over here where it's pulled. I really don't want to send it back, maybe I'll try and I don't know, push it in. Most of the time it works with me so Let's hope that it does this time as well because I am loving the coat. It looks like a blazer which is elongated but I feel like it's something very stylish and it just gives you I'm a strong woman attitude. Especially when you have a work bag like this one let's say or even with something crossbody I bet that it's going to look amazing as well. I am going to Bulgaria tomorrow so I was hoping that it's gonna arrive by today and it did so I'm gonna take it with me. So style wise it's really nice. Let's have a look actually how it's going to be if we open it up. Let me show you actually the button. On this side you just have that little bit that's connected and then on the inside it's this opening where you basically need to pop the button. The button is very pretty as well and then you have the secondary one over here which I think is just a simple plastic button. It's lined underneath and let's have a look how it's going to be when it's opened up. Beautiful! Of course it's beautiful! I am really liking it opened up as well. Let's do, let's do it with the back. It's beautiful. All in all, I'm not surprised there was such fuss about it because it's a stunning coat both a, when it's closed up and when it's open. So definitely stay tuned about my vlog to Bulgaria, it's probably going to be the outfits that I wear there. And I'm thinking of taking only this coat with me, so you're gonna see a lot of options to actually wear it. So darlings, thank you so much for watching, I hope that you've enjoyed this video as well. If there are any other brands that you would like me to try on, let me know down in the comments. This was just on my wish list for months now and I'm glad that I finally managed to get it and for a price that I wouldn't regret definitely because I wanted to see what the brand is all about, if it's nice quality, which it seems it is, it feels very heavy very nice and that it's going to keep me warm so I am very pleased with quality now that I'm touching it, now that I'm wearing it. The design of course is exactly like described on the pictures and it looks stunning size-wise. 
I would say is true to size. I am usually size small in everything. I would have gone for extra small as well, but I'm glad that I went with a size small. So all in all, I am very happy with the brand. I uh, will look up what else they have as well. So yes, that is it gonna be for today, darling. Sending you lots of hugs and kisses and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye. Thank you.